Adding and subtracting polynomials is just like combining like terms. I might be asked it a few different ways. If I have something like this, add 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 and 3x squared minus 6x minus 8. Add and algebra means combine like terms. So that's what we do. 4x squared and 3x squared are like terms. So I can add them. We said before we get 7x squared. I can combine my x's, subtract, take the sign of the larger, I get minus 4x. I combine my numbers, my constant terms, the signs are alike, add and take the same sign. No big deal. So I can see it written add. I'm supposed to know it means combine like terms. Or I can see the word simplify, and I can have something like this. And things don't always have to match. This is nice, squared and squared, x is x's. Let's say I have 8x cubed minus 2x to the 4th plus 6x minus 6x to the 4th plus 5. So now I combine what I can. If I can, I can. So I usually start, I have 8x cubed. I have no other cubes, so I can't combine it. I have minus 2x to the 4th and I have a minus 6x to the 4th. So I can combine them and got it minus 8x to the 4th. So now you have to remember, we are combining like terms. You do not touch exponents. It's not like multiplication division. Remember, multiplication, we add exponents. Division, we subtract exponents. Addition, subtraction, we do not touch exponents. Then, so I do not get an 8. That would be a mistake. Plus 6x just stays, and plus 5 stays. So I combine what I can. If I can, I can. So I might see it like this, where they don't tell me what to do. And I might just have um, a to the fifth plus 4, a squared minus 1 plus, let's make it... Um, minus 4a squared plus 6. I'm supposed to know that I'm adding polynomials. I'm supposed to know that that's combining like terms. A plus in front of parentheses keeps everything the same. So this all stays the same. A plus, that all stays the same. So I have minus 4a squared plus 6. That just stays. Then I combine like terms. I don't have any fifths. I have a to the fifth. A plus 4a squared minus 4a squared goes to 0. Minus 1 plus 6, I get plus 5. So hopefully, no big deal. The only time maybe it can get confusing is if I have bigger exponents. Let's say I have 4x squared y cubed minus 2 x, y squared plus 3 x squared y cubed minus 4. First, I'm going to get rid of my parenthesis. You can think of it as a positive 1. You can distribute positive 1. Or plus just keeps everything the same. So it's 4 x squared y cubed minus 2 x, y squared plus 3x squared y cubed minus 4. I mean, a plus, everything stays the same. All I did was remove parentheses. Then I combine what I can. This is a squared cubed. This is a square cubed. This is not. So I can combine them according to the rules of sign numbers, and I get 7. But remember, in addition to subtraction, we don't touch exponents. It's 7 of these x squared y cubes. I have no other xy squared terms, so just minus 2xy squared. I have no other constant terms, so that's my answer. So subtracting polynomials should be easy, but for some reason, people get this wrong all the time. Look at this. 6x squared minus 4x minus 5 minus 2x squared plus x minus 4. 
I mean, we did this before. We did this with distributive property. The only thing different is now this is pretty big. We have to know that a minus in front of parenthesis changes the sign of every term inside. Or you can think of this as a 1 and distribute negative 1. So I have 6x squared minus 4x minus 5. This becomes minus 2x squared. This becomes minus x, and it becomes a plus 4. And I don't know why so many people don't change those signs. Then we just combine like terms. Here's my squares. I get 4x squared. A minus 4x minus 1x is minus 5x. Minus 5 and plus 4 is going to give me minus 1. All right, let's do another one. 8x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus 2x squared minus 8. A minus changes the sign of everything inside. So my 8x squared minus 3x plus 5 stays. Inside is a plus, I get minus 2x squared. Inside is a minus, I get a plus 8. I don't need that. So now I combine like terms. So I'm going to get 6x squared. There's no other x's. And I get plus 13. We'll do one more only because so many people get it wrong. And I don't know why. All right, let's say I have one like this. 9x squared plus 2x minus 8 minus 7x squared minus x minus 4. My 9x squared plus 2x minus 8 stays. Minus changes the sign of every single term inside. So I get minus 7x squared plus x plus 4. So make sure you understand why the signs change. Then I just combine like terms. I get 2x squared plus 3x minus 4. 